What is up guys, welcome back to another trip to the thrift. If you guys are enjoying the videos, hit that like button. It lets me know, it helps the channel grow. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. I try to respond to all the comments I can and hit that sub button if you guys are not already and you guys do enjoy these videos. So let's go see what we can find this week. Some Kobe 10s, I forget, or not 10s, 9s, my bad. I forget what this colorway is called. Um, it always gave me like an undefeated vibe though because it's orange and um, olive green. But unfortunately they want $15 for them and they're pretty beat up. This Bayside Smoky Mountain tea is kind of cool. Size so XL 299 Great Smoky Mountains National Park. All right, so I don't pick up a lot of Tommy anymore, but I did find this one, 699 size small. Um, this Tommy fleece jacket, you got like the flag around the neck. Like I said, I don't pick up a lot of Tommy anymore because it takes forever to sell, but I actually recently just uh, sold the same one in gray maybe about a month ago for like 40 bucks. So I don't know, I feel confident about this one. <laughs> Some little tiny white cement threes. This is one that they need to bring back. These and military fours. They want six ninety nine for those, and they have separation all over them though. They got GTA Five on the PS3, but they want five ninety nine for it. So I think I'm gonna have to pass on that. Also, I'm using a different camera. So uh, let me know in the comments if it looks any better, if it looks worse, if the audio is better. Um, yeah, just let me know. <laughs> And then check out the 1991 uh, Operation Desert Storm Support Our Troops tee I found. 91 right there. Now one single stitched. Size small for $1.59 on the old Fruit of Loom tag. Gonna have to go ahead and uh, scoop that one up. Best shoe they got in this store are these right here. These uh, LeBron Soldiers, I think. I don't remember which ones these are exactly. You guys can let me know. But um, other than that, there's like no other shoes in the store. Are these, um, are these like Ultra Boost STs or something like that? I think that's what they're called. I want $20 for them. I think I've had a pair of those before, BT. It's a newer one, but the graphic on it's still pretty cool, I guess. They want $2.99, size small for that one. A couple games, we got Far Cry 4, Limited Edition, and Mass Effect 3. They both are $3.99. Um, yeah, I don't know, probably not really worth it. Got the Average Joe's jersey from uh, Dodgeball. They want $2.99 for that one, size medium. Does have like some light stains on it, but still pretty cool. Found this uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Kaiba tee right here. He's got Obelisk Tormentor behind him uh, from Enter the Shadow Realm, but they're asking $7 on it, which I can't do $7 on a youth tee. Um, even though it is really cool, um, these used ones just don't sell like that. If it was like a dollar or two, I'd get it, but I can't do six on it. We got the Toyota 86 Tuner Colt T. Pretty cool. They want uh, five bucks for that one, size medium. The Robert Root T, but for seven bucks, I think I'm going to have to pass because uh, that price is not glorious. Movie T. I forget what this dude's name is, but as you can see, hashtag super on the back. Um, I actually had the Batista one like this recently. Um, it took a minute for it to sell, and that was Batista, so they want seven or six bucks for that one. Does anybody remember this game? Like, I completely forgot about it until I found this shirt. This Deformers PS4 promo shirt. They want four bucks for it, size large. Uh, 2006? Uh, all the Kingsman movie promo tee I found. Never seen the movie personally. Um, I did have to look it up to see if it was a movie or not. <laughs> this Resident Evil 7 shirt would have been pretty cool for five bucks. But it's covered in stains and has holes all over it, so that kind of sucks. Oh well. On this uh, Pittsburgh Pirates. Russell Athletic jersey. Nothing on the back. Size 36. It does have a hole right there though. From the tag getting pulled off, I guess. Some Flyknit runners. Remember when these were hyped up? I think that says $6.99, but I can't really tell. Pretty beat up. All-Star 2010 uh, track jacket is pretty cool. When the All-Star game was here in Dallas for 20 bucks. But that one is brand new with tags. On this vintage ABC Supply Co. Racing number 14 T on that older Gildan tag, like late 90s for $1.59 size 2 XL. And on the back you got the car. Felipe, I don't know, it's Felipe something. All-Star KD7s, they want. 20 bucks for those though. Nice colorway. Uh, can I see the this GameCube game that's on top? Just came out of this store right here. Same store I got that big stack of GameCube games at last week. Um, and we got another one, Four Swords on the GameCube. And this one's like super mint to complete and everything. I think this one's in way better shape than the one I have in my collection. So I'm probably going to end up switching this one out and um, getting rid of mine. But it's cool to find uh, GameCube games like this, and especially like back-to-back -back like that. So let's go see what else we can find. This BMW Motorsport T is actually pretty cool. Size XL399. It's got like the stripes on the sleeves. 
they got this Xbox 360 uh, steering wheel. I remember buying these before, one of these before. They went down in price, so last time I had one, I sold it for like 100 bucks, I think. Now they're only worth like 40, and they want 15 for it. Plus, I just got two Xbox One ones, so still pretty cool, though. Found this Red Dot Digital Media professional shirt. I guess it's like camera equipment or something, size large, $2.99. Didn't really know what it was, but I looked it up on eBay, and they sell for like 30 bucks, so figured for $2.99, grab it. And this one, I might actually grab for my personal wear. Um, it says it's a 2XL, but it's actually pretty small. It looks more like an XL. The Hokusai Project. I don't know, I just really like the art on it. So, either gonna grab this to wear or to sell. Don't know yet. I found a Peach Plush for $1.99. Probably go ahead and scoop that one up. Found some uh, Air Max Pluses in a women's size 9.5. They want $15 for them. They are kind of beat up though and dirty. Patrick Kyrie's, they want $15 for them though, but they look like they're like still pretty new. They don't look like they were worn very much. Found this Crayola Experience tee, kind of cool, size XL, $1.59, yellow, or I'm sorry, unmellow yellow. A couple Furbies I found, $1.99. They are newer ones, they're from like 2012. They're not the ones from like the 90s or whatever, but they still got like value for like 20, 25 bucks, especially with Christmas coming up. Uh, NF hoodie. It's a size large, $3.99 as is. I'm not really sure what's as is other than it's covered in like hair, which is kind of gross, but that can be fixed. <laughs> On the back, real music till the day we die. So, gonna go ahead and uh, scoop that one up, even though it is covered in hair. Green BS. I hardly ever see this color. I, these are kind of hard to find. Game's kind of cheeks, but 20 bucks. Apple wireless keyboard. Um, it's brand new still. They want 20 bucks for it. We got some Jordan 7s right here. What are these? The Pure Platinums, I think they're called? Not too sure. Size 10. They want 40 bucks for them. Not bad, like, for personal wear. They are my size, but I don't think I need them. Some Air Max Plus Paper Max, whatever these are called. 30 bucks. The bubbles are still good, but they got holes all in the toe, and they're really stained up. NMDs, 25 bucks, though. So that's going to bring us to the end of this week's trip to the thrift, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, hit that like button. It lets me know. It helps the channel grow. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. I try to respond to all the comments I can. And hit that sub button if you guys are not already. And you guys do enjoy these videos. And I will see you guys soon with another one. So, later. I'm a chef shifter. I post masquerade. Are they